Hey, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to remove echo in Adobe Audition. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. So here we are in Adobe Audition. I'm editing a podcast and have a listen. There is literally so much that we really get into in this episode. There's definitely echo in that room. Now, it's not the worst acoustics I've heard, but it's certainly acoustics that could be improved. When we're working in a space that is less than ideal, do not worry, there are tools you can use inside Audition. And my favorite now is in the effects menu under noise reduction and restoration, D-Reverb. This is like an instant band-aid for echo. Uh, starting with it off. There is literally so much that we really get and then enable it. There is literally so much that we really get into. And immediately you can hear a clarity, a difference. Obviously I can push the amount right up. And as you'll see, I do this, push this up to 100%. There is literally so much that we really get. As I go really high, it's obviously degrading the quality of the audio. So I don't want to go too high. I just kind of want to fade this up until I hear my echo disappearing. There is literally so much that we really get into in this episode. Thanks for joining us today. Let's dive in. Okay, about 44% is as far as I can go uh, without degrading the quality of that speech. So this D-Reverb will do wonders for you uh, if you have mild to moderate echo. It even works sometimes when you're in a room with loads of reverb. D-Reverb is literally using machine learning to remove as much as possible of that echo or reverb. Click apply and then you're done. You can see it cleans up the waveform a little bit, but we're not quite done yet because there is another ninja hack that I I can show you. There is literally so much that we really get into in this episode. Not only can it clean up the uh, the echo and the room reflections, but it can also mute our audio when our speaker is not speaking and even reduce these breaths here and here. Now, in order to set this up correctly, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things you need to do. This is going to be in the effects menu, and we're going to use amplitude and compression dynamics, and we're going to dive into, on the default view, we're going to go for the auto gate uh, to gate out any audio that should not be getting through or getting through that gate or being heard. Uh, so let me show you how this will work. First of all, I'm going to drag up amplitude statistics here. I'm going to scan this selection and I'm going to find here the average RMS amplitude of my sample, which is minus 36. Okay, minus 36 is the average RMS amplitude. So this is kind of my magic working number now, minus 36. When I go into effects, amplitude of compression dynamics, I can actually set my noise gates threshold at minus 36. As I discovered, it's the average RMS amplitude of the sample I'm working with. If you're working with a longer podcast, of course, feel free to scan the selection of the whole podcast. Um, but just for this example, now tick auto gate to switch it on and have a listen. There is literally so much that we really get into in this episode. Thanks for joining us today. Let's dive in. As you can hear, the auto gate is working really hard, and you'll see that by the light flicking from red to green. Red means no audio getting through, green means audio getting through, so anywhere it's red, the audio is completely muted. There is literally so much that we really get into in this episode. Now you can see that's probably a little harsh, it's probably cutting off some of the words spoken there, so it's not ideal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave attack at one millisecond, that's how quickly the gate fires in, and releases how uh, long it takes to let go. I might reduce that down to 50. There is literally so much that we really get into in this. Now to stop that kind of fading in and out that we're getting on the auto gate, I can actually change the hold uh, to a figure like 30 milliseconds. There is literally so much that we really get into in in this episode. And if it's still clipping around, move it up a little bit more. There is literally so much that we really get into in this episode. Thanks for joining us today. Let's dive in. And as you can see, that's a lot cleaner already. Autogate, a fantastic icing on the cake to put on after you've done the de-reverb effect to really clean up what was initially something with a lot of echo. Now we've removed the echo using Adobe Audition features such as de-reverb and the autogate inside the dynamics effect. Let me know how you get on with this. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them down in the comments below.